everyone, my name is Michael Tappenslag, and this year I'm celebrating my 25th anniversary here at the camp. 26 years ago, my father, Elliot Tappenslag, at that point I guess was in his 25th anniversary of his camp. Two weeks before he was about to start his summer, he had a heart attack, he's still alive, but he had a heart attack, and the camp asked me, they said, can you take over for your father that summer? And I said, all right, I've never done it before, but I'll do it. I grew up watching my dad do it, so for me, it was a piece of cake. Everything I do with these kids, I learned from the best teacher in the world, my dad. Uh, so, I guess after that summer, and we won a national award that summer, actually, for best program for kids in the United States of America. Since then, uh, I've been doing this program in schools, and I guess that summer, the following year, I started the program here, 25 years ago, 1990. So this is my 25th anniversary, yay! I have had, and even this year, campers of campers. So, uh, are you ready for today's show? Yes. All right. While here, while we're here, everybody, we're being broadcast on Channel 15 in Edison. Let's wave to the Edison cameras, guys. Wave to, back there, back there. Wave to them. You guys can be on TV. Stand up. Wave to them. All right. The whole purpose of this camp, as I told the children, and they know why they're here, it's not really to put on a show. It's to build self-esteem. When I started 25 years ago, my main objective, I was a young guy, 26, 27 years old, and I was like, okay, let's just put on a show. Then I became a dad, and my priorities changed. My priorities now are to build self-esteem, to make the kids feel great about themselves, to help them break out of their shells, to make them feel proud, a sense of pride. And I use that through uh, creative dramatics and improvisations and putting on the show. And I need everybody in the audience, including all the campers, when the kids do a great job, you applaud, you applaud, you applaud, make them feel good. We're here to build self-esteem, yes? Yes. 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 yes! All right. Counselors, let's take off our banners. This is my son, Joshua. Josh, how many years have you been in camp? Thirteen. Thirteen years. And his friend, Michael, two of our counselors. Come on. All right. Are you ready for today's show? Yes! Yeah. Are you ready for today's show? Yes! Yeah. We're all gonna travel. Let's bring the house lights down. House lights down. We're all gonna travel to the Appalachian Mountains in the town of Bullyville, where all the hillbillies are sleeping. And if you're real quiet, you can even hear them story. Let's raise the curtain. Raise the curtain. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> hear a story. A round of applause before we begin for the legend of Bully Joe.
stage right there. You the one turn around. Up on stage, mister. Get over here. Come on up. Everybody give him a big hand. I'd like you to meet Joe Bob Betty Sue. Now, Joe Bob Betty Sue has the best chicken legs in the whole county. Show everybody your toes. Take your shoes off. Here we go. You yeah. can do it. You can do it. All right. Then show them how to do it. Go like this. Then this. You know how to do it. Yes. This. And then this. All right. Show them. Zoom into the camera. Here we go. Oh, yeah. All right. Everybody stand up. Everybody in the audience, stand up. You're going to be the leader. Everybody stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Or you're going to come on stage, too. Stand up. Hit it.
you put a curse on her.
to hear just the campus. Let me hear as loud as you can. Clap. Now the parents. Every clap. Now everybody, we've got to go up the mountain to where the goblins and ghoulies live, okay. into the hidden cave. Let's go up the mountain where the goblins and ghoulies live. Jethro 
it will remain a sport.